hey, what you doing? Trying to catch this fly. I heard that eating insects is way better for the environment than eating meat, like beef. Plus, I'm starving. Stop for a second. It's true that people around the world have been eating and harvesting insects for centuries. The practice of insect eating goes back a really long time. Even Aristotle wrote about eating insects, describing the best season to harvest cicadas. In fact, there are fewer people in the world who do not eat insects than those who do, and over 1,400 different species are eaten. Different places in the world eat different insects. For example, in Latin America, cicadas and grasshoppers are often fried or roasted and eaten in, in sauces or moles. In many cases, they make kind of tacos out of them. In Japan, aquatic fly larvae are harvested and sauteed in soy sauce and sugar. Sounds pretty interesting, I've never tried it. And grubs, which are the larvae of beetles, are often considered a delicacy because in palms in particular, these grubs are big and large and juicy, and they have really high levels of nutrients. Insects are a really great source of protein, fat, and vitamins. They're actually a more nutritious protein source than, than beef is. You're getting some of this nutrition and you don't know it. There are some amount of bugs in food like lettuce, peanut butter, and even chocolate. In fact, even in the US, some markets and restaurants are serving up bugs. Do you want spicy or sweet? Spicy, of course. John Bugito is a food business that focuses on edible insects. Farm edible insects are incredibly sustainable and ecological. Being from Mexico, we have a little more variety, of especially on proteins. We eat insects, we have five different types of insects. The challenge was how to translate that into the American culture. Seven years ago, people would come to us and they would say, you what? I would never eat that, or why, why would I eat that? And now it's a very accepted type of food. They don't produce waste in comparison of cattle farms and poultry farms, and they barely need water. If a cattle use like 50 gallons of water, the same amount of protein produced with a cow, but crickets will use only one gallon of water. One of the primary reasons that forests are cut down is to make more grazing space for cattle. And so if you can find alternative protein sources like insects, then you're really helping a lot for stopping deforestation. And you're right. With the demand for protein increasing, and the fact that raising livestock requires tons of land, food, and water, not to mention greenhouse gas emissions, there are better options than eating beef, pork, or chicken. But as with most solutions to environmental issues, when eating insects, it all depends. On what? Mostly on what insects eat. If you can harvest many livestock successfully by feeding them waste, which sadly we create piles of, that's incredibly efficient and good for the environment. But if you feed the insects grain, like chickens eat, then we may not be gaining much in terms of resources, like water, land use, and energy. But some bugs are better at eating waste than others. Crickets are popular as food, but black soldier fly larvae are better at eating waste and more nutritious. What, do you have a question? Yeah, can I try the chocolate-covered mealworms now? 